Hey. Back to people. And we're live! I'm Olivia Squizzle, and this is my assistant, the lovely and renowned architect, Amanda. So, Amanda, what sort of ailing problems do you have for me to solve today? We got some kindergarten fiascos, I guess. I don't believe in kindergarten. Oh, really? I believe you go straight to college. If you're not good enough for college, you don't need an education. Proceed. While I was teaching kindergarten to the graduating class of 2012, there was an incident in the classroom. At about 10.15 on October 17th, year 2000, a pack of biker grandmothers adorned with wildly flamboyant bike shorts stomped into my classroom and without reason ripped me from my wheelie chair and beat me to the ground. At that time, I was a feeble and weak woman. Since then, I will say, I have beefed up. I am still rather upset with these women, and I do see them every so often riding their bicycles across the CVS parking lot. So my question is, how should I get revenge the next time I see those ladies at CVS? Thanks in advance, Mrs. Donna of Civil Village. I'm really glad that they went to revenge, because that is exactly what I was going I to. That is, that is That was going to be my advice, was revenge. I didn't know if they were going to, like... You know, say, what should I do about the kids? They're traumatized. Like, shut up. You get revenge. That is the number one role in life. Um, this particular case, I would join their gang. I would join their biker gang or whatever. And I would infiltrate the ranks, slowly become the leader. If you're all beefed up now, you can do it. Once you become the leader, you make there be a role that in order to join, you have to... You have to get completely waxed head to toe, and then you have to get a ta get a face tattoo of of you. Like Don, everyone has to have a face tattoo of Miss Donna and be completely waxed head to toe, and they'll probably do it because uh, they seem very devoted to this gang, to this biker gang. So when they do, um, in the tattoo, you put in like the brain chip in it so once they get it tattooed on their face like the the tattoo ink you put the organisms in it so it infects their brain and they become like your zombies like you control them because the that those mind control tattoos they're legit because you they have that ink with the organisms in it and once that's tattooed on you it it goes right into your brain so that would be my advice. It is important, though, that they are waxed head to toe before they get that mm -hmm. tattoo. Because it won't work if you... It, it can't get through... It'll cling to your hair, and it won't go Yeah, it has to go skin. in your, like, hair follicles. Yeah. Yeah. And also, it, it's, just, it's just a disgrace to see an old woman mm -hmm. completely waxed. There's something slightly frightening about it, you yeah. know? Disconcerting. Um... What? Hairless Mora. That is what we called my grandma growing up. Really? Yes. It wasn't Granny or Nana. It was Naked hairless. Mora. It was Nick and Mora. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and may the force be with you, and your naked room, and your naked Mora. 